Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashallah. Koholoyim la. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai. Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. They're out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai to the best of their ability. My name is Yachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And this is um, just another one of those situations where the Lord sent the Spirit to eat the wild beast, man. That's a real spirit that the Lord the Lord can use animals or any element that he wants to um, delete a person. And that just so happens to be one of them, um, to eat the wild beast. And we'll grab that scripture, but I wanted to read this article. It's in the New York Post. And I actually seen it last night on Euro News as well. And wherever this is at... Um, what a guy he was talking about how it's too many bears the bears are you know pretty much uh we're not outnumbering the population but you know it's it's too many bears per person so to speak you know what i'm saying like they're just kind of all over the place they're getting you know they're they're kind of coming out of their own habitats and zones because you know esau they out here cutting down damn trees they're cutting down woods they moving into areas and kind of you know flushing animals out into different areas and these animals are kind of out here roaming but anyway let's get a little bit of this it says team mauled to death by a bear in front of her boyfriend while on a hiking trip he probably dipped up on her ass it says a teenager has died after she was attacked by a bear yep that was in Romania Maria Diana 19 was hiking in the Sechi Mountains with her boyfriend when a bear appeared on the hiking track. Tragically, Miss Diana went to emergency services when the bear grabbed her leg and dragged her off a 400 foot cliff. God damn, you know she was terrified. Rescuers said Miss Diana's injuries were incompatible with life. Dan Benu, head of the local mountain rescue service, told local media she was terrified of course she was terrified you can tell she was screaming the bear is getting closer and closer so she's seeing her demise coming now let me grab a quick scripture and this is why we tell our people to repent man because you're dealing with the lord man yahweh by shimei the king of terrors hebrews 10 and 31 and he reads it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So she's seeing the bear. She's actually on, on, on pretty much, I guess, what they would call 911. And nothing can be done. <laughs> you know, because the Lord is in control. It wouldn't have made no difference that she had a gun, a goddamn tank, whatever the case may be. If the Lord wants you out of here, he wants that spirit back. He calls that spirit back to the spirit world. You out of here. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick, too. It, it, you know, if these types of scriptures don't make you want to wake up and repent, I, 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 don't, I don't get it, man. I mean, you know, but we know that the Lord, the Lord is even in control of that. Who's going to wake up and who's not? Deuteronomy 32 and 39, it says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. It wasn't nothing her boyfriend could do. It wasn't nothing that um, emergency emergency services could do. Because that was all by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You can't stop the Lord from doing what he wants to do. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, man. It says she was terrified. Golly. You can tell she was screaming. The bears getting closer and closer. Why the fuck y'all be out hiking where y'all know bears and shit be at? But that's Esau. Scripture talks about how Jacob was a plain man and Esau is a cunning hunter. See, he's he, this man is everywhere. He's in all kinds of places that he just shouldn't be, man. All because he's privileged, privileged like that. It says it was happening. It was all happening live. The emergency dispatcher was on the phone and her partner was shouting that they were being attacked by the bear and that he had taken the girl. It was it was terrible. He told us that the bear grabbed the girl by the leg, and at one point, he didn't see what he did to her. 
when rescuers went to rescue or to recover Miss Diana's body, they found the bear circling it. Miss Diana's boyfriend, it says the bear was shot dead. Miss Diana's boyfriend, who was unharmed in the incident, said they had been climbing towards the Sprumosa waterfall when the bear appeared. When rescuers arrived at, on the scene, they found the snarling beast circling the body. The aggressive predator tried to attack them and was then shot dead. The victim's boyfriend, whose identity has also not been revealed, witnessed a horrific attack but was unharmed. It was unexpected. I tried to scare the bear, but the misfortune happened. I'd rather it had been been me. Yeah, right. Had you if you rather it had been you, you would have ran up on it and jumped on him. <laughs> I'm willing to bet he didn't run nowhere near that bear. I'm willing to bet he didn't run up and grab her by the arm or try and you know um throw it down. I probably didn't you know ain't even throw it down, rock or nothing at the damn bear. Talking about he wish it would have been him. Get the hell out of here. Here you go, right here though. There you go. There you go, right there. You goddamn selfies. You probably was trying to get there and take a fucking selfie. It says, President of Salvamont, Romania, the country's mountain rescue services, Sabin Camus said, From the information we have, the bear attacked the young woman on the, on the trail, dragged her into the vegetation next to the trail, and somewhere in this vegetation dropped her into a, a chasm and fell there. The bear came down after her. Ooh, so you know she was, you know she was terrified. You know she was. Hey, matter of fact, once that um, you know they had these these women out here talking about um, they was asking a question, and they were saying that they would rather sleep with a bear. <laughs> what they say? Oh, they was asking a question of of a man or something. They was asking. I need to find that. I bet you they won't want nothing like this. I bet you they, ain't, I bet you they ain't um about to go and hang out with no bears, man. Like like how they said. Says my colleagues went down into the abyss where unfortunately the injuries the victim had were incompatible with life. He said the aggressive behavior was unusual for bears who usually lash out when feeling threatened or if, if there was food present. But here it seems we are already talking about a, a direct attack. And this is not typical of bears. It needs to be seen exactly what influenced it. Maybe the heat maybe some disease the animal is suffering from we need to see exactly what changed its behavior so radically that we end up with such events no this is what happened let's get the scriptures on it that spirit of vengeance this is what happened and whether the damn and whether he was sick or whether he was going through anything it still would have been on the lord this is ecclesiasticus 39 and 28 there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them so the lord created these spirits for vengeance fire and hail and famine and death all these were created for vengeance here's the point teeth the wild beast and the bear got teeth the wild beast is not a, that's a wild beast man with some with some enormous goddamn teeth man and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. See? So these 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 spirits of vengeance, they get an um, you know, get a command from the Lord, and they're happy to get it. It don't make no difference if it's a woman, child, infant. Uh, 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 old ass woman old ass man it don't make no difference it says they will not transgress his word they weren't like oh lord she's 19 years old she's with this man they're gonna possibly have a family in the future you know what I'm saying no lord don't do that no they like alright how well, you want it done okay bet we got it As a matter of fact um, this is an account too as well this comes to mind with uh that killed these kids in the Bible. Second Kings, chapter two. Let me start at first. Uh, some badass kids that was mocking up the prophets, man. That's why you, it's it's important to not mock the prophets as well. Be careful, man. You know how you you know you, you don't be talking, man. Hey, look, just walk on by. <laughs> Second Kings two and twenty three. Let me start there. It says, and he went up. 
from thence unto Bethel. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children. See, it says little children, not grown children. You know, um, teenagers and shit. These are little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, go up, thou bald head. Go up, thou bald head. So they, you know, they picking at him, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he, he, you know, he got a loss of hair. <laughs> Probably had the receding hairline, you know, the, 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 the George Jefferson. It says, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord Yahweh. And there came forth two she bears out of the woods and tear 40 and two children of them. So he killed 40, 42 kids. <laughs> it says, uh, uh, what did it say? Little children, two bears. And that's a spirit of vengeance, teeth of wild beasts. And you know what? It's going to, it's going to be a lot of animals displaced when shit starts to go down. Because it was happening even when COVID was going down. When COVID was going on and a lot of people was in the house, it wasn't too much traffic out, not too many cars riding and stuff like that. The world had got quiet. So animals start to really roam and move about. And matter of fact, it's still, it's animals in my neighborhood right now. I be seeing that never used to be here before. And it's some, it's some, it's some, um, it's coyotes and shit running through the hood now. I'm talking about this Detroit, <laughs> you know, and, and, and a few other things, man. So I just wanted to touch on this, man, because, uh, let me see. Look, man, the Lord ain't no joke. Trying to think how it's worded. The Lord is terrifying to the children of men. I think it's in Psalms, maybe. Let's lock you. Bear with me real quick here. Let me see. I think where it's at. I mean, this is, uh, it talks about how the Lord is. Oh, I can't find it right off. But, hey, again, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I'm willing to bet you. Hey, it says she was screaming. Can you imagine that? Like you seeing that shit coming. Nothing you can do about it. You know how powerful a bear is? I was just watching a video. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it was the same um, news conference where the, the guy was speaking. But they were showing a bear running. Man, that fucking bear was running fast as hell. Pouncing. He, and he's like, damn near like a thousand pounds, man. And there's nothing you can do. You, you ain't finna handle no bear, man. Your boyfriend talking about, I wish it had been me. Yeah, yeah, right. But I'm willing to bet you. Hey, that was, hey, that's a way to go out right there. Oh, I think it's um, it's worded. The, the, the Lord is terrible. I've said terrifying. I think that's how it's worded. I think it's terrible. Yup, Psalm 66 and 5. Come and see the works of Yahweh. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. Ooh. And that's so very true, man. That's so very true. I, I, I mean, I can't imagine. Look, I've had dogs chase me when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Just ride my bike. At least on my bike, you know, I'm able to pedal. Yeah, but hey, your heart beating hard as hell. You pedaling hard as hell. I can remember that. Damn dog come out of nowhere and shit. And you, you pushing them pedals hard as hell. I, and that, something like that used to be terrifying, bro. So I can imagine... There's a damn bear coming at her with teeth showing, growling, and just yanks her ass, man. So, hey, y'all better be careful out here, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. And there's people that's just, um, you know, you know, just dying on a regular basis, man, throughout the day that you just, you don't hear about everything 
Man, there's people, um, um, the Lord is taking people out of here, man, in a cold way. It's a lot of heinous and cold, um, cold-blooded cold crimes going on. Matter of fact, I seen one, I think it was yesterday. I mean, I have it in my um, lock here. What the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? Let me go back in here. I mean, we're trying to get you to buy some shit. I don't want to buy nothing. Let me see if I still got this in my history. But it was a dude, he was just, um, oh, no, nah, no, nah, I, I might have... Might have had uh, another phone. Well, I've done a lesson on this right here with this white Missouri man, you know, charged with torturing black women. Well, we got a damn dungeon, man. Chicks in the dungeon. Or this one right here, the woman accused of murdering her lead sugar daddy. She did beat him up. I mean, you know, cracked him over the head. Him and another, I mean, her and another chick stabbed him up and cut his damn thumb off. So they can get into his, um, I guess his Apple Pay or some crazy shit. But anyway, I had seen another one because you know the you know the scriptures is talking about how uh, the love of many shall wax cold because iniquity shall abound. And so the dude working at the restaurant, he worked at a Sonic, and um, and two chicks, man, you know what I'm saying? You know they ended up giving him some um, counterfeit money. I guess he he was you know asking them about it. And shit, the damn chick shot the, shot the guy three times, man. Killed him at the damn restaurant. At a damn Sonic's. <laughs> I mean, it's like, God damn, bro. You can't even go to work. And we talking about chicks. We talking about women, man. You know what I'm saying? You never used to hear about women doing the type of stuff that they doing these days. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's out of hand, man. So, a, you know, walk circumspectly out here. But overall, you you know, you got to repent, man. And pray to Yahweh about Shemiah Washah. Because he's the one that protects and... um. We just read that he the one, you know, he, he kills and makes alive. It's all on him. So we're praying to you how about Shemiah was shot for mercy on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah.